Welcome back guys. So in this portion of the series, we're going to start working on the refinement of the details of the power drill. So without further ado, I want to go about adding a smooth transition between this border that wraps around the baseline of this drill. So let's hit F to enter fillet mode, grab our two bottom edges, the two top edges, and lastly, the back piece, which connects them all. And we'll dial this down to add a nice smooth rich transition once we're satisfied we'll hit ok and i do want to round off this area here so we'll hit f and we'll add a slight you know some slight smoothing hit ok and since we rounded off this area in the beginning we now have an area we can add a pipe to so we'll go to create pipe select our border and let's just make this a lot bigger because this will be a, an establishing line for the manufacturing detail. So once we have a size we're happy with, we can ensure it's on cut and hit OK. So that little detail just, you know, pushed this up another level because we have some detail that we can assume that this thing has been manufactured at a actual uh, factory. So next we want to round off this housing area in the rear because this is where you place any additional um, screws for the power drill. So if we have an extra Phillips or flathead, we'll put it here. So let's hit F to enter fillet mode, grab our border, and we'll just dial this down somewhere around here. Let's hit OK. That's a nice transition that actually looks really well. Um, secondly, what I want to do is start to round off some of these grooves here with the grip for the handle. So let's hit F, select these outer rings, it's a total of four, and we'll just dial these in to be nice and soft, right about there, let's hit OK. And this is such a harsh dip, I want to actually round this off as well. Looks too uh, unnatural. So this is a lot better. Let's hit OK. And uh, there's a couple of different ways we can go about doing this. Um, we need to create a seam that goes from here down the middle. And that's why we split this up in the beginning. right? So what I want to do is first uh, merge some of these pieces together. So I'll go to Modify, Combine. Select this area, which is connects to the handle or the base and leads to this top area. I want to go about adding some transition here. So let's combine these pieces. Once we have all these three, or all, not all these three, but you know, four total, but three um, to join. And then we'll change it from cut to join. We'll hit OK. And what I want to do is add a nice transition here. So I'll hit F to enter fillet mode. I'll grab this borderline that wraps around and I'll just add this detail. Because in the um, reference, we can see that the way the light reflects and bends, that there is some type of transition going on here. And it's uh, basically up to you how far you want to make this. And I think this is perfect here, so I'll hit OK. And next, I want to go about um, creating a transition here on the top. So I'll hit F to enter fillet mode, select this area, and just do something slight, nothing too uh, harsh. Let's dial this down to maybe about 0 0.7. Hit OK. And this looks extremely well. I'm happy with these results. And I do want to round off this area here in the front, so I'll hit F to fillet mode. Select all these edges that make up this border. And once I'm satisfied, I can just dial this in at a slight bevel. Or they call it fillet infusion 360. Hit OK once I'm satisfied with those results. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some type of separation here. And there's a few different ways I can go about doing that. I can um, 
actually toggle off this body, hit F to enter fillet mode, and I can start to fillet these edges, right? So once I fillet this, it'll create a seam, so to speak. So now I can hit OK, toggle back on the body we just toggled off, and then what I'll do is toggle off this main body, and I'll add a fillet going this way. So F, round this off slightly, hit OK, toggle the body I toggle off back on, and you see that we have that seam. So we don't have to create a pipe. Um, sometimes it's more beneficial doing uh, one of the two. So now I have that, now I wanna create a nice transition here. So what I'll do is toggle off this, hit F, and I want to round this off. If I can, sometimes you get random errors and hiccups inside of Fusion. There are uh, no way around, <laughs> but no one's perfect or nothing's perfect. So once we, once we select the entire border, we can start to dial this in. Hit OK. Toggle this back on. I think I'm satisfied with that detail there. Let's go to Modify, Split Body. Once I select this surface here, I can go to Splitting Tool. And I'll choose this front facing plane in the right view. Hit OK. And I, it gave me the seam that I wanted, nice uh, cut. So I can create a pipe and I, or I can try to create a fillet. So what I'll do is hit F, grab one of these, move it down a bit, hit Control C to copy these input values, hit OK, right click to go up to repeat fillet. Now I'll grab this half. Control V to paste those inputs. Now hit OK. Now, if we were to try to create a pipe, we would have got some errors here because um, that's the way Fusion operates <laughs> a lot of the times. It likes to make our life a lot harder. Now I want to create a seam uh, that goes through here as well. So I'll hit F to enter fillet mode. And I'll toggle off one half of the body. So let me toggle off this half. Let me hit F to enter fillet. Select these two. And I actually want to toggle off the chain because I don't want to go around this area. So once I have this area selected, I can Control B e to paste that seam that I had above. Hit OK. Toggle back on this body, and I want to toggle off the right side now. Right click, go up to repeat fillet. Toggle back on the chain so I can select this area. Then I'll toggle it back off so I can select this piece separately. I'll press Control V to paste those attributes. Hit OK. And I'll toggle back on the body. Now I have that seam. And that may be too drastic, but I think it's it's a good um, detail to have for now. And we might be able to add it here on the back end as well if we need it. I don't know if we need that seam, but let's right click, hit OK, and try it out. Let's press Control V. Right click, go up to repeat fillet. We'll grab this edge, control V. That looks well. Now, I think this is a good point to uh, start combining these. So I'll go to modify, combine. And I'll see if, the, if it'll let me combine these two. Surprisingly, it let me, so I'll press OK. 
And this is definitely a good place to be for our first video in and we'll continue in the next one.